Therefore, say I put my money to the exchanges, exchangers, and then at my coming I should have received mine own with usury. Take therefore the talent from me and give it. Uh, take therefore the talent from him and give it unto him which has ten talents. In other words, because you didn't lose, use it, you lost it. All right. For unto everyone that hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that hath not shall be taken away even that which he hath. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into our darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of the teeth. Right. There will be consequences. All right. If I can put a subtopic on this, it would be God give it and take it away. All right. All right. I want to share with you, young people today, two short stories. That of one that of one of the most talented and gifted ball players of all time, and that of myself. I am nowhere close to being a professional basketball player, but I am a child of God, and I am here to do what he has called me to do. All right. Now, 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 before I give you his name, I will say that one of my favorite quotes from this ball player is this. I have missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I have lost almost 300 games. 26 times I have been trusted to take the game, winning shot, and missed. Can you just imagine being in a stadium filled with hundreds of people, and when it comes down to that last shot to win the game, you miss? That has to be one of the most frightening situations any human being can go through. Then he goes on to say, I have failed over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. Just in case you are wondering who I am talking about, I am talking about the one and only Michael Jeffrey Jordan, who is also known as Michael Jordan, MJ, or just Jordan. His career as an NBA basketball player started in 1984, a year after I was born, and ended in 2003. Michael Jordan has won six NBA championships back in 1991, 92, 93, 96, 97, and 98. These championships were all won while playing with the Chicago Bulls, but he finally retired as a Washington Wizard. And he stated at his last Hall of Fame ceremony, you may look up and see me playing at 50. In the game of basketball to Michael Jordan, anything is possible. Can y'all just imagine him getting back on the court at 50 years old? In other words, he still got it. <laughs> Some of his career highlights and awards are the six championships. He was the NBA Finals MVP from 91 to 93 and from 96 to 98. He was awarded the NBA All-Star Game MVP in, 1990, in 1988, 96, and 1998. In 1984, MJ received other awards such as the ACC Player of the Year Award, the Oscar Robertson Trophy, the Nagin Smith College Player of the Year Award, John R. Wooden Award, Adolph Rupp Trophy, and might I add two gold medals from the Olympics back in 84 and 92. Talk about a man with talents. Just look at somebody and say, use it or lose it. Use it or lose it. Amen. Back in 1993, Mr. MJ retired from basketball to pursue a career in baseball. To make a long story short, that did not work out for him, so he went right back to the same team he left in 95 and won the team three more championships in 96, 97, and 98. He left the God-given talent to try something new and different, but I believe God told him that that wasn't what he called him to do. He had to work to fin he had work to finish on the court, not on the field, trying to hit home runs. I'm sure MJ thought he was going to be an all-star baseball player, but that's not where his passion and God-given talent really was. It was in basketball, something that he loves to do. You got to do what you love to do and what you know that is why God put you there to do it. All right. Another major accomplishment for Michael Jordan was the Air Jordans. We all know MJ has all types of shoes out, and his, he has profited millions of dollars, not only off of the shoe, but also from clothing and other athletic wear, such as backpacks, headbands, and much more. Having his own brand has had its downfalls and controversies. A young man at the age of 15 was choked to death by one of his peers, all because he had to have his pair of Jordans. Other senseless acts, such as robbery, shootings, and beatings, caused certain items 
to be banned from school grounds. This does not, this did not stop MJ from pursuing his dreams. He kept on playing and whatever it was that he felt he failed at, he took that negative energy and turned it into positive energy and he was able to perform and reach ultimate success. And that's what it's all about, reaching ultimate success. If you are trying to achieve, another one of his quotes, if you are trying to achieve, there will be roadblocks. I've had them. But obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. Right. Young people, I want to persuade you and challenge you to follow your dreams. Now hear me when I say this because you're going to have to go through some things even at the age that you're at now. And don't give up. Don't quit now. God has so much in store for you. It is not about competition, nor is it about winning all the time. You will fail at some things in life, just like MJ did, I did as well. I tried several attempts to be successful in my youthful years, and that did not happen. I was not created to be the next Serena Williams, Venus Williams, Marion Jones, Lisa Leslie, or Fantasia, or Miley Cyrus, or Selena Gomez, or Nicki Minaj. I was created to be me and to be the best me I could be. Did I graduate with degrees? No. Did I graduate at the top of my class? I sure did not. But I did graduate with the $500 scholarship for the spring of 2003, and I did not use it. I was born to write and tell my story. I love to write. It brings me joy. It brings me peace and joy 99% of the time that I am doing it. It's what I love to do. I just, I just love to write. I was called to speak and encourage not just young people, but women as well. That is what I love to do. It has been spoken over my life that I would be traveling the nations doing so. It is all in God's timing, not ours. When it comes to our families, we have to be the all-stars. We have to look out for each other. We have to make sure that everything is okay, and we have to stay prayed up. Michael Jordan was married for 17 years to his first wife, and then they ended up divorcing. Now, his mar now he's married again to a Cuban-American model at the age of 50. There is still hope, you guys, and she is also pregnant with his fourth child. So Michael is still in the game. <laughs> right. <laughs> Michael said, I still got it. <laughs> Obviously not on the court, but his legacy still lives on. His dream always will live on. Oh, yeah. I was married and divorced as well, but I am still pursuing my dreams. First book is published, and I have plans for book number two later in 2014. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is good. So I say all of that to say, no matter how you see the negative things in life, young people, always try to find the positive. Love your dreams and your passion. Work towards them and use them to the best of your ability. Can you just imagine how well off that one servant would have been if he just used his one talent? One talent. Playing basketball and loving the game has gotten him further in life than he probably ever thought of. I can say more about MJ because there is so much more to say about one of the greatest players in basketball history. But in my closing, my third favorite quote from Michael Jordan is this. I play to win, whether during practice or a real game, and I will not let anything get in the way of me and my competitive enthusiasm to win. So from this day forward, young people, whatever God gives, God-given gifts and talents you were born with, I dare you to use it or lose it. Come on and give God praise. And now we're going to have a music selection by our Pavina Praise Sunshine Band again. Come on, let's show them some love, y'all. Amen. Amen. 